Hey, it's Chris Gately, Gately Properties, your friend in the real estate business, and uh, some interesting news from the Financial Times, and I think we should talk about it. So, the Financial Times posted today uh, an article about commercial mortgage-backed securities market. Um, I know that sounds like gobbledygook, right? Well. 401ks rely on that. 401ks, um, insurance companies, annuities, and asset managers require some kind of stability. Well, doesn't seem to be the case. Um, what they're seeing is they are seeing an increase in defaults. Primarily those defaults are coming from uh, malls, hotels, office buildings. Um, these are ones who obviously their tenants aren't paying them or they've been shut down by uh, state or federal or local jurisdictions uh, for COVID. So what's happening is when a, a commercial backed uh, security product goes into default where they've stopped paying on the loan or they've be fallen behind on the loan, it triggers an appraisal. Well, that's because they wanna know how much the property might be worth. So if they have to go and seize it, they know what they can possibly get for it. Well, here's the issue. Those properties are only appraising for about 75% or less from what they were before COVID. That's huge. That's a huge hit. According to Wells Fargo analyst, Leah Overby, this is a big number and it is material. According to Gunther Seeger, a fixed income portfolio manager at Pinebridge Investment, 30% markdown on appraisals across the board is horrific. And here's the bad news. The number of new appraisals is accelerating. Meanwhile, Realtor Magazine has an interesting article about uh, large single family investors are expecting a buying bonanza come January. Why? With millions of homeowners falling behind on their mortgages and many not taking advantage of de uh, deferment programs, they will be subject to foreclosure process come January. So, uh, single landlords, uh, single family landlords have been gearing up for this for a while. Some of the big ones are Blackstone Group, Coke, uh, Industrial, JP Morgan Asset Management. Uh, they've been putting their money aside, hoping for a correction in the market, hoping for this opportunity to, to buy uh, homes again. Um, they've a lot of times they've been out of the business. They in about one in ten homes they've been buying, uh, but during the uh, financial crisis of 2010, it was it was way more than that. Um, and they've seen steady returns uh, in rentals. Um, so they are looking to buy in the suburbs. So final thoughts. Final talk to a financial planner. Um, if you are concerned that the foreclosure process uh, in the residential space is going to bring down values, um, we are seeing they are ready to buy cash in hand and they want to buy a lot of homes. So that will take a lot of the inventory for you as a buyer off the market and as a seller, odds are you won't see those back on the market. I don't think they're looking to flip them. Blackstone is one of the largest uh, national landlords in America. Um, they, they have a process that they go through and that they know what they're going to net as far as rents. They have a very good idea. So they're looking to expand that because they have investors that they need to um, make, you know, they have to identify, they have to make whole. So I don't know, what are your thoughts? I want to hear about your thoughts. Uh, put your comments down in the, the comments down below. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much uh, for, for sharing this video, uh, for liking us. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, 
please don't forget to subscribe. If you are watching on Facebook, please don't forget to like the page. And uh, have a wonderful day. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.